Don't try that at home. Welcome, team. Thank you very much. What Jeff said way more eloquently than I could was essentially why I first declined his invitation to come here. He politely turned it into the positive that I'm not an expert or even a novice at all the systems that need to come together to make embedded vision a useful tool. I said to him, we, I've got about 500 engineers at my company. We've spent now decades using off-the-shelf technologies. We didn't invent lithium batteries for this new generation. We didn't invent the processors, the solid-state gyros, the other sensors that make this possible. I try to look at what's going to be practical as a new technology that can address an old problem. Wheelchairs are a very inadequate solution for somebody who wouldn't be able to see over this podium to talk to you. So I explained when he asked me to come, you know, why don't you get Takeo Kanadi? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm certainly not going to compete with that guy when it comes to what all of you people do. And I walk through the booths and I barely hang on. Well, this thing is 3.5 million deep nodes and the neural network, but don't worry, we have a customer. The amount of stuff that has to happen to make embedded vision a simple tool to replace a micro switch, but has lots of advantages, I think is enormously exciting, but I'm going to be, as he said, a customer for it. So if you're expecting me to give you some insights on how to do what you do, you're going to be disappointed. The reason that I actually agreed to come, hey, Jeff, you're going to fill a room with a lot of low-hanging fruit, people that I need for at least three very important reasons. 